So, this morning is the morning of the Smash Brothers Invitational. And I decided to do some VOD reviews in order to buy time until the Invitational. So, this is basically going to be me, I guess, commentating my own matches, seeing what I'm doing right, doing wrong. I remember what I want to focus on in these matches was doing specifically the right combos at the right times and the right parts of the map. So, I guess that will be most of what I'm going to be critiquing myself on. And I'm playing against one of our friends, so I guess I could critique him too and talk about things that I liked and disliked about both of our play. I start this first match. This might be the only match, also. Let's do something. All or nothing. Fight it out. I see how he starts. I started with a rolling crush. I guess he thought his assist would hit me, so he did it. Alright, so far, so good. Did that right. I remember having a lot of problems with my inputs during these games. I said if, if I was gonna do anything, I should have started with a low. But. I think I went for the hard knockdown here, I did not. Oh, okay, I was going for a grab reset. I'm trying to see if I can read a jump. That was me. I was a little bit too uh, anticipative for a grab instead of just reacting like I usually do. Uh, he's dead. I don't even think I had the level 3 here. I probably could have used level 1 for 1. That's something I can't just dash into Bardock. So loops. Vegeta. Grab. I'm gonna try to go for it, but that's too much like I couldn't convert that. I didn't jump cancel it. This is something that I also need to get better at playing against. Sparking. I think I'll try to skip the switch. Yeah. That I remember specifically on purpose because I was trying to I'm trying to Condition him into taking more grabs. So I instantly went for that grab to punish, uh, you know, to make him not want to anticipate grabs anymore, to just make him react to grabs. That time I just mistimed the, uh, the grab. I want to actually grab from there. I didn't want to give him a turn, so I used vanish there. Got hit by the vanish, which I wasn't expecting from the edge to get hit by. So far, so whatever game. <laughs> that was supposed to be Beyblade, but I still don't have all of his inputs memorized for which one is Beyblade and which one is for like the rapid punches. I think he dies, now he doesn't die here. I feel like Gotenks' 2H is the best 2H in the game for hitting Vanish.
I was game one. wasn't really anything special. He didn't really make me have to do anything incredible that game. Uh, yeah, he pretty much fell for some not simple tricks, but yeah. So just watched. It was a pretty sloppy game, or period, but uh, Are you ready? I'm pretty sure he did that switch by accident. This is a lot of, uh, and I, I'm pretty sure what happened there is that it just lagged a little bit in the middle of that, which made me drop my combo, and he got hit by the second uh, L of the 5 LL, so this is going to be a lot of damage. And this is the dead trunks. Oh, I messed up my combo. And I want Trunks back in there, get rid of that blue life, and I think I go for another, uh, nah. I think by this time I already had him conditioned to be wary of the, uh, grab in the air. So I just went for the, uh, so I just went to press buttons in the air because I didn't think that he pressed buttons. I thought that he'd go for a drag, grab to take the, uh, take the dragon rush, so I just pressed buttons. So I just, uh, I think I did that again in this match too. That makes up so dirty. The thing about that mix up though with the Gotenks assist that Sonic Fox does is you think they're going to hit the ground. So it's pretty much, you have to guess are they going to switch sides or are they going to hit the ground or are they going to just overhead you. I think here I go for reset. Yep, I did go for reset. And he's dead. That time I pulled out some stuff. That time it was a little bit more clean from me. It just went through his whole team with Cell. That line is just sadistic. I love Cell so much. Before, I hated playing Cell because I felt like I was just being carried by Cell. Because Cell was just really good, not because I was playing him well. But now I actually think I'm picking up the Cell. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm playing Cell. At a pretty okay level, not at a high level, but I think my cell is all right. I need to get my neutral a little bit better, but I in these uh, in these matches that we're watching, I think that I'm doing the combos at the appropriate time where I should be doing the combos. Like I'm not wasting meter when I don't necessarily have to. I think every time I'm using the meter combo, it's at an appropriate time. That was a bad Kamehameha. I can't Kamehameha at that range just because he can lair it behind me. I need to. I don't respect Lariat. Appropriate. Can't get the second jump. There you go. What are we gonna do for the wake up? I messed up my combo there. He's gonna switch. There we go. Get Bardock back in here. And this is one of the times when I was talking about before where I got him conditioned by grabbing a lot when he was switching. When I text, text somebody in. 
So then that time, I just jumped up and pressed buttons. I wanted the hard knockdown. I think this misses though. Well, it should have missed, but he didn't check. That was supposed to be an IED. Heavy. I think, I, f I always feel like Trunks is gonna get on me faster than he does with his auto combo. So I like reflect when, I, when he's not really close enough. Alright, this time he actually got me to change off of. So. Get Trunks back in here. Ooh, he got hit by overhead jab. Ooh, that jump is good. And then when I saw that, I was like, okay, you're back dashing after I vanish. So I think. I don't think I get it with him. Get him with it on this match. Here. I think I just go for a ghost mix up. Yeah, I just go for a ghost mix up here. But I think after this match, I'm going to play one more match because I want to look at how I adapt to me seeing him back dash after I start vanishing. Jeez, it's dark. They can barely even see me. It's not even really a point to have my camera on. <laughs> but I don't want to turn my light on and waste. I don't think that I really need the light right now. So. I began playing Street Fighter, and I feel like something that Street Fighter... Well, I didn't begin playing Street Fighter, but I started playing Street Fighter again. And I feel like something that Street Fighter helped me out with a lot was adapting quickly into seeing something. So... He messed up from typing into me within the command mayor. I don't I thought he would back dash and that's why I went for the command grabs. And I also thought he would time his assist wrong and get to me before his assist actually got there. That was a nice reflect, but he reflected too much after that one. What I could have gone for there is I could have gone for a reset, but I wanted to try to bait out his barking. Messed up my loops. I don't know why I messed up. I'm pretty sure I don't remember lagging there. That's something I do a lot, is, uh... I think there's a reflect opening there, but instead, for some reason, I just crouch. I could have got a better conversion off of that. Messed up his level 3. Space my light. I should have got a medium there instead of a light. Two H, and that's death. 
And I think this is where you start to see me really keying in on his back dashes after uh, Vanish. No, not yet. Okay. Got the ghost mix ups. And then level one into level three. Uh, no, I didn't need the level three. Sadly, I couldn't show me trying to punish backdash, but. I think I did a lot of okay things there. I think my, uh, geez, you can't even see me right now. I think my, um, my neutral still needs a lot of work. A lot, of, a lot of work. I get hit by things that I shouldn't get hit by right now. I don't respect certain options still. I need to play better against, uh, sparking. And once I get those things done, I think I'll be pretty good at this game. But yeah, that's all for right now. Have fun looking at my own games. If you guys have any tips or anything in the comment section, let me know. It's Keen Up Sound signing off. Peace. And let me know because this is going to be uploaded after the Smash Brothers Invitational. I'll probably do another separate video on that. Let me know how you guys feel about that.